Hey everybody, it's Heath from DoMyOwn.com. Today we're going to talk to you about newly seeded turf and how to care for that newly seeded turf. So you've overseeded your lawn. A key element to do is to now fertilize that lawn. You'll need something high in phosphorus, generally speaking, depending upon your turf type, uh, to establish that root system. Something with that middle number uh, being you know, 20 plus is going to be key for root development. So your grass type is going to determine the timing of your fertilizer. Uh, some warm season grasses like Bermuda, Centipede, or Zoysia, usually those take about 21 days or three weeks to germinate. So you wouldn't want to put a starter fertilizer down at the time of seeding. You may want to wait a week or two before you apply it. Uh, with that being said, some cool season grasses like rye or fescue are going to germinate in three to ten days. So it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put your seed or, and your fertilizer down at the same time. So once you've done your aeration and overseeding and you've applied your starter fertilizer, you need to pay attention to the fertilizer. Uh, depending upon what starter fertilizer you've put down, you may have something that has 50% slow release or you may have something that has no slow release. So depending upon that would determine your second application. If you've done something with a 50% slow release, that's going to release over about a six to eight week period. If your starter fertilizer that you've put down has no slow release to it, then you would want to do another application about four weeks later. Once you've established the turf, you'll want to water every day until that grass is actually germinated. Make sure that you're only watering for short periods of time, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe once or twice a day, depending on your climate and your location. Uh, you may have to water it twice a day just to keep the seed moist throughout the day. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not doing it to the point of runoff. Uh, we don't want any soaking wet lawns, but we also want to make sure that there is a little bit of dry out period throughout the day as well. This will work for either overseeding lawns or establishing entire new turfs. Okay, now that you've established your turf and you see it starting to fill in, you can cut back on your watering habits a little bit. So if you're watering you know, twice a day, maybe you can go back to once a day, or if you're watering once a day, you can go to once every other day. You'll do this for about another week or two until the root system is kind of established, uh, and you're almost to that point where you're about to do your first mowing. After that, you can actually do your normal watering practices from there on out. This will also include those people who want to overseed their warm season turf with uh, ryegrass uh, to establish a green lawn throughout the winter time. Another popular question we get asked is the mowing of your newly seeded turf. Uh, and that's gonna depend greatly upon the type of turf that you're putting in uh, and how long it takes to establish that turf. You know, with uh, some certain grass types that we've already talked about, it can take three weeks for that grass seed to germinate. So at that point, you wanna make sure that you've gotten at least three to four weeks worth of growth on it before you do your first mowing and make sure that that grass is established enough to take that first cut. Another thing is the mowing height. You wanna make sure that you're mowing your lawn for the first time at a pretty high height. Uh, you know, for fescue lawns, you want to be probably close to about three inches so that you're not ripping that new grass out from the root system. Uh, make sure that you have a sharp mower blade and make sure that you're mowing on uh, a dry turf as well uh, when you're doing that first cut so that you can make a clean cut and not pull it out by the root system. Make sure that you're not cutting more than a third of the leaf blade off at any given time. So if you've got some bare spots and you're just touching up seed in certain little areas, you can apply all these practices to that as well. Uh, but you could maintain your normal lawn, uh, cutting it on a regular basis. Just avoid the new areas where you've applied the seed. So now that your newly seeded lawn has germinated and established and you've got some weeds in the lawn, you need to make sure that you have established that turf, uh, that it has matured at least six weeks after germination, or you've done at least two mowings on the lawn prior to applying any weed control. To get the best benefit of the herbicide when you're applying it, you want to make sure that you haven't mowed the lawn for about two to three days. And then after you've applied the herbicide, make sure that you've waited two or three days for that herbicide to fully soak into the weeds. So generally speaking, fall is the best time to uh, overseed your cool season lawn. Uh, depending on your location, generally from late August all the way through to about November 1st is the best time to do that. So your warm season turf is generally done in the springtime, usually late spring. Uh, sometime around late May, depending on your location anyways, uh, would be the best time to do zoysia, centipede, St. Augustine, uh, Bermuda, anything like that. So taking some of these few steps can allow your lawn to flourish. If you like this video, please click our subscribe button and check out our other videos.